everyone and welcome back to Grace Crochets. For today's video, I'll be showing you all how to crochet these super unique and beautiful granny squares. Now, I didn't come up with this pattern. A friend actually sent me it on Instagram and asked me to make her something with it. Um, so in the description, I'll be putting all the information on how to find this on Instagram uh, so you guys can go show them some love. Now, the yarn that I used, you can find at Hobby Lobby. It's the Yarn Bee Yarnatopia in the colors Spice, Ivory, and Cerulean. I hope I just said that right. And it calls for, if it'll focus, a 4.5 millimeter hook. Now, if you guys know me, you know that I prefer to use a much smaller hook than what is actually recommended on the yarn. So I used a 2 millimeter hook. That's just because I prefer to have much tighter stitches. Um, I just prefer how that looks, but it's totally up to you guys. But enough talking, let's get into the pattern. I also forgot to mention that this is a little bit more complex of a pattern, but if you are completely new to crochet, don't worry, I'm going to be teaching this from square one. So I hope I don't annoy you crocheters who are a little bit more advanced. So feel free to skip through whichever sections that I get a little bit repetitive. Um, that's just because I'm going to be starting from square one. So, because we are starting a granny square, we are going to be starting in a magic circle. And how I do my magic circles is I will take my end yarn and place it there on my hand and wrap it around my fingers like so. So I have this little loop here. I'll take my hook, insert it, and pull through my working yarn like so. I'll grab my working yarn and I will chain one. Now this chain one doesn't count as anything, I just use this to keep everything in place. But within this big circle I'm going to be placing eight single crochets. So if you already know how to do that, go ahead and go do that. But to start you're going to insert your crochet hook into this big circle here yarn over and draw up a loop. You should have two loops on your hook at this point. Now you're going to yarn over and pull through both the loops on your hook. That is one single crochet. We're going to do seven more of those. So insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over again, and pull through both loops on your hook. Now you have two single crochets. Let's do another, draw up a loop, yarn over, and pull through. Now I have three. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. Now I have four. So you're going to repeat that four more times to finish off your first row. After you have eight single crochets into this big hole here, you're going to take your end yarn and pull it tight. So now it should look something like this. And you're going to place a slip stitch into the first stitch of your row. So that was my first single crochet right there. I'm going to insert my hook, if I can. There we are. Yarn over and pull through the one loop I have on my hook. Now I'm done with my first row that is entirely comprised of single crochets. Now we can begin working on the second row, and the second row is going to be all double crochets. If you know what you're doing, basically in each single crochet, you're going to place two double crochets. So how we're going to do that is we're going to place two double crochets into this first stitch. Now to begin the row, I begin mine a very particular way and I'll show you guys how to do it only because I think it looks better than just doing a chain two like so to begin the row. I think that it ends up looking a little bit funky when you begin each row. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my loop a little bit like so. Now I'm going to place my index finger here and hold the yarn in place. And I'm going to wrap it around like so. Now it's important to keep your index finger where it is or else 
it's going to fall off and become twisted. So keep your index finger here and wrap your yarn around like so. Now insert your hook into that first stitch right here if it'll focus. Insert your stitch, yarn over like normal with your regular working yarn. You should now sort of have three loops on your hook. Okay? Yarn over again with your working yarn. Pull through that first loop and that second loop. And at this point, you can take off your index finger. Yarn over and pull through the next two loops just like a normal double crochet. And that's how I begin each of my rows with a double crochet. Again, I just think that it looks the best, but you can always do just a regular chain two in the beginning. So now we have one double crochet into this single crochet from the first row. So we're going to place a second. You're going to yarn over and insert your hook into that sti uh, same stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. You should now have three loops on your hook at this point. Yarn over, pull through only two of those loops. Yarn over again, pull through the next two. So now you have two double crochets. Let's work two more into the next single crochet from the previous row. I'm going to insert your hook right there. I've already yarned over, so I'm going to insert my hook there and I'm going to draw up a loop. I have three loops on my hook at this point again. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over again, and pull through the next two. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch for your next double crochet. Draw up a loop, if I can, there we go. Again, I have three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two of those loops, yarn over, and pull through the next two. So now I have four double crochets. I'll do one more with you guys, yarn over, now you're going into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through only two of the loops, yarn over, and pull through the next two. Okay, now we're going to place one more into that same stitch we were just in. Okay, so yarn over, insert your hook, and draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through the next two. You're going to continue this for the entirety of row two, and by the end of it, you're going to have 16 double crochets. So go ahead and finish that, and meet me back here when you're done. Now that you have all 16 double crochets done in your second row, you're going to place a slip stitch into the first double crochet of your round. Basically, insert your hook into the top of the first double crochet of the round, which can be a little bit hard. Let's see, there we are. It can be hard because we did the double crochet so weird for the first double crochet of the round, but you can do it. And now we are going to move on to um, row three. And row three is where it gets a little bit hard, so I'm going to be going extra slow for this. Um, but let's get to it. So you're going to pull up a loop again, just like you did at the beginning of round two. You're going to do the same thing by placing your index finger here, yarning over, and you're actually going to insert your hook into this space in between this double crochet and this double crochet. Insert, yarn over, and draw up a loop. So you have three loops on your hook at this point. Yarn over, pull through two loops, so that first loop and that second loop. Now you can lift up your index finger, yarn over, and pull through the next two loops. 
There I go. Okay. Now you're going to place four more double crochets into that same space that you just placed this double crochet. So let's do that. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same space. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. So there's two double crochets. Again, I'm inserting into that same space. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops. There's my third. Here is my fourth. And now my fifth. Okay, well, oops. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to draw up my loop just a little bit. I can get my hook out. And I'm going to reinsert my hook into the first double crochet that we did. Again, because we did the double crochet a little bit weird, it might be a little bit hard to insert it. But think of it like you're inserting your hook into the same place where you would be inserting your hook had you finished the round and if you were placing a slip stitch. So after you insert your hook into the top of your first double crochet, you're going to reinsert your hook into that loop from your fifth double crochet. Tighten it a little bit. Looks like I ripped my yarn. Okay. And you're going to pull through. By doing this, you should be smushing your five double crochets a little bit. And that's going to give you the kind of bobble look right here. And you're going to do one of those in between each double crochet. So I'll do a few more with you guys. Um, so now that we've finished our first, we are going to chain two and begin on the second one. So yarn over. Insert your hook in between the next two double crochets and place five double crochets. There's one. Two. Three. Four. And, oopsie daisy, if I can get it. Now five. Okay, I now have my five double crochets. I'm going to pull up my loop just a little bit. I'm going to reinsert my hook into that, the top of the first double crochet for this cluster. Okay, so for me, it's right there. I'm going to insert my hook and then reinsert my hook into that loop that I drew up. I'm going to take that loop and pull it through the other loop. So now you have two, I don't know what they're called, bobble clusters, but after you finish your second one you're going to chain two again and begin working on your third. So I'll do one more with you guys. Yarn over and insert your hook in between the next two double crochets. So here is whoops, one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to drop my loop a little bit and then look for the top of that first double crochet for this cluster. I'm going to insert my hook through both loops and pull through this loop for my third cluster. And remember after each cluster you're going to chain two. 
you're going to continue this continue this pattern for the entirety of row three. Um, you're going to finish with your sixteenth uh, cluster, and then you're going to chain two and connect your round with a slip stitch into your first cluster. So go ahead and do that and meet me back here once you're done. Once you are done with round three, count all of your clusters just to make sure that there's 16 because I've definitely continued on to row four and realized I only had 15 clusters and it really sucks to have to go back all the way. So just double count now, make sure that you have 16. And once you're sure you have 16, you can move on to row 4. And this one is really similar to row 3 with a few exceptions. So you're going to pull up your loop and do the same weird double crochet. But instead of inserting your hook here where you think it should go, in between these two clusters, reach all the way over here and insert your hook in between these two clusters. It just ends up looking a lot better. Um, at the end of your project. So place your double crochet and then go ahead and place four more double crochets there because we're going to be placing another cluster. There's two, three, four, and here's number five. Okay, again, we're going to insert your, our hook into the first double crochet. Reinsert your hook into that pulled up loop and pull through. So now you have another cluster. And this weird little piece of yarn here that kind of shows because we reached over here to place the cluster that's going to disappear and overall it's just going to look a lot more seamless of a transition. Um, so we finished this cluster so we're going to chain two and place another one in between these two bobbles. One, two, Three, four, and five. There's my second cluster. Going to chain two. And you're going to continue by placing two more clusters in between these two stitches and these two. So they'll be right here and here. So go ahead and do two more of those. Now that you have your four clusters, we're going to begin working on the first corner. So after this fourth cluster, you're not going to have any chains just yet. You're just going to have made it into a little bobble. But after you finish that, you're going to chain 10. So one, two, three, four, oops, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Okay. Now yarn over and you're going to continue as normal as if this long chain wasn't here. You're going to place another cluster into the next space. So yarn over, insert your hook, there's one, Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so that's your first corner. Basically, that is just the start of this part for the corner. So, so far we've been working in the round, that's our first corner. And you're going to repeat that pattern where you do four clusters, so we have one here, you'll do three more clusters, you will chain ten to
to make this little arch and then continue doing four clusters do another chain 10 here four more clusters you're going to do a chain 10 and then after you chain 10 you're going to place a slip stitch into your first cluster for round four so go ahead and do that and meet me back here after you have your third bobble stitch for this row make sure that you have that chain two at the end and now you can start placing just regular double crochets you're going to insert your hook into this big space right here from the chain 10 there is one double crochet and feel free to move it more inwards um, you're going to place five more for a total of six so let's do that there's number two, three, four, five, and six. Again, feel free to squish them a little bit more closer to the edge. And after you have your six double crochets, chain three. One, two, Three. So I'm going to give you guys a visual representation. This is the row that we're on right here, and that chain three is going to create that little hole right there to make sure that the corner stays sharp. So after you have your chain three, you're going to place three more, or not three more, six more double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, feel free to squish them and move, move them to wherever you want them. After you have your six, chain two, and place a cluster in between each of these clusters from the previous row. So you'll have three, just like you have right here. And then you're going to continue with the pattern of placing six double crochet. You're going to chain three, place six double crochet, and do three clusters again, all the way back into the beginning. So continue doing that, and meet me back here once you're done with this row. Now after you finish round five, you can continue on to row six. Now row six is pretty much the same thing as row five. You're going to start off placing a cluster. You're going to have two clusters, one here and one here. So you're slowly decreasing in the amount of clusters that you are doing each row. There's three four, and five. There's one cluster. Now I'm going to do my second. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Now I'm going to do my chain two at the end of the cluster. And in this chain two space from the previous round, we're going to place two double crochets. So there is one and two. Now we're going to place six more double crochets on top of the double crochets from the previous round. So here is one, oops, two, three, four, five, and your number six should be in this chain three space. 
So there's number six. So I have a total of eight for this run right here. So after you've completed your eighth double crochet, you're going to chain three again. One, two, three. Now you're going to do eight more double crochets. So yarn over and remember, place your first one here in that chain three space. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, the number seven and eight are going to go into that chain two space. So here's number seven and number eight. After you finish your eighth double crochet for this row right here, you're going to chain two. And after you chain two, you're going to continue with your clusters again. So you're going to place one here and one here. Then after you do your clusters, you're going to do the same thing that you just did here for this corner. You're going to place two double crochet here, and then continue with your six. You're going to do a chain three here, and continue on with the pattern. So go ahead and finish row six. Okay, now we can continue on to row seven, and row seven is the last row with the clusters. So. We're going to continue again with that weird double crochet. We're going to insert our hook in between these two clusters here. Okay. There's my five double crochets. And as you can see, that's my last double crochet, or my last cluster for this side of the granny square, because it's come to a point now. So we're going to chain two, one, two, and place two double crochets into this chain two space just like the previous row. So there's one, two, then we're going to do eight more double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and my eighth is going to be in this chain three spot. So after I have my tenth for this row, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and place a double crochet again into the chain three spot. And I'm going to continue doing nine more double crochets for this stretch right here. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and my nine and ten are going to be in this chain two space here. Now I'm going to chain two and place a cluster in between these two clusters here from the previous row. There is one, two, three, four, and five, and 
and chain two again. Now I'm going to do the same thing by placing two double crochets into this chain two space here. And then I'm going to continue the pattern whoops, by doing eight more double crochets until I get to this corner. I'm going to do a chain three, double crochet ten, finish off that last cluster right there. Ten, ten, cluster, ten double crochets, ten double crochets, and finish it off with a slip stitch. And then you'll be done with this row and done with all of the clusters. You can meet me back here for the last part. And after you complete row 8, you are essentially done. Now, you can continue with however many border stitches that are completely comprised of double crochets. Um, you can do as many of those as you want, but those are super easy and quick, and they don't have any cluster stitches anymore. But yeah, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys like this video again. In the description, I will have all the information of where I found this pattern, um, but if you haven't already, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to see more videos like these. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments, or if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, definitely leave those down in the comments. I would love to read those, but other than that, thanks for watching.